Hello my mates! Here you see my latest acquisition to my computer fleet. A 26 Mac Pro. Yeah, how did I get this Mac Pro? Well, I saw it listed locally. I uh, couldn't believe it myself, but yeah, locally. For only 100 euros. And I tell you, if people around here have a machine like this, a Mac Pro, and that is a big if. If they have a computer like this, they charge you an insane amount of money. It doesn't matter which uh, year it's built or what hardware it has. Most people don't know it either, but uh, they charge you a lot of money for this just because it's Apple and because Apple needs to be expensive and people always believe that. And yeah, so I never actually thought I'd see a Mac Pro in my computer fleet, so I just couldn't resist. I went ahead and bought it. Now this is actually going to be my secondary main PC. Why that? Well, because I need a secondary main rather capable PC, or Mac for that matter, since my main computer over there is going to be moved to another different place. And um, I need also around here a rather capable desktop. And uh, a desktop where I can actually uh, upgrade and stuff, you know, that you do with a desktop. Now, I do have the LAN party PC and that was actually gonna be my solution. But it's over there and uh, I'm probably gonna be selling it. Because this Mac Pro is here and... Uh, yeah... Uh, it is actually proven to be rather, rather beastly still. Now... What are the throwbacks of a 100 euro Mac Pro? Well, there are some. A lot, actually. Uh, first of all, don't even bother about thinking using one of these in 2017 if you don't like... Uh, if you're not like me and, and like screwing around in, with computer stuff and put up with a lot of stuff because you need to put up with some stuff to get it working uh, or rather usable. But what are the throwbacks? Well, it's a 1, 1. This is the original Mac Pro 1, 1. And because Apple uh, has proven to be a big asshole in the last years, they unsupported this Mac already with version 10.7 of OS X. That's freaking Lion. And Lion uh, had... It, I was actually shocked how freaking Lion... How freaking much Lion has aged. There are no up-to-date web browsers and hardly anything from the Mac app still works. And it overall just isn't usable anymore uh, for my needs so I was shocked and um, because Apple limited that to 10.7 uh, the prices for this Ma these Macs for the 1.1s are going down so much since it's well even though it has a quad-core Xeon processor uh, yeah it only runs 10.7 now Ma Apple actually excuses that with it the Mac having a 32-bit EFI and of course Apple cannot figure out how to make a 64-bit EFI but uh, for some reason uh, some developers in internet did and they actually managed to get newer versions of OS 10 running that have that goddamn 64-bit EFI so you know, it's 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 not like in the, where with Snow Leopard, where Snow Leopard can run only on also on 32-bit CPUs because this is not a 32-bit CPU, or the two of it are not 32-bit CPUs. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, uh, you need to hack that. And um, what I find actually pretty sad is how freaking complicated uh, instructions that there are on the internet. Um, I followed some, but really none of them tells you what is going on. Um, they also always tell you that you need an upgraded graphics card, and that is the big throwback number two. The original graphics cards do not work with later OS tens. Um, this one, of course, me being always so lucky, uh, this had the original, uh, original graphics card from the Mac Pro. Here it is. The 7300 GT with only 256 megs of RAM and this is just trash. Uh, I really cannot use this and also it doesn't support anything newer than Lion or it doesn't run it smooth and that's I always believed 
that it probably wouldn't even output a video signal if you run anything newer and I confused that a lot so I always thought oh I need to get a graphics card first but in fact it does work with just installing the OS it's just unusable but you can install it fine so be aware of that now the thing I do I did uh, with creating this little workstation of mine is I needed a newer operating system and I, I googled and I found out that unfortunately you cannot run Mac OS X Sierra on it so yeah um, that is of course the latest operating system app from Apple now I'm gonna power it on and you cannot run that because it needs some SSE4 capabilities that the CPU doesn't have don't ask me what the hell that is but Sierra needs that and the Mac cannot do that so unfortunately with El Capitan it is uh, the end so yeah now watch it booting up here over there on the right monitor oh I need to turn on the monitor also now because this graphics card is not from Apple and OEM uh, you will not see a boot screen but I couldn't care less about boot screens um, so uh, let me just extend that tripod a bit okay so here we have the about this Mac it is a Mac Pro well it doesn't tell you which one <laughs> it's running El Capitan the latest update uh, and we have the two awesome dual core 2 times 2.66 gigahertz dual core Xeon so we have a quad core with two physical CPUs I always found that to be just amazingly beastly and it still is pretty much ass kicking these days because who can say I have two processors uh, in my freaking computer and we have this uh, server grade DDR2 RAM we have seven gigs of, of, of it uh, should be plenty for my needs uh, could maybe be like two gigs more but I mean really I can put up with that I will not upgrade the RAM on this since when I saw some prices um, for these RAMs it's just no I just said nah I'm gonna stick with the 7 gigs uh, the previous owner already upgraded that pretty good all the slots are used so even if I wanted to upgrade I would even need to remove at least a gig or 512 mags so yeah I, I thought no let's keep it with the 7 gigs and yeah but as you can see it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 RAM slots <laughs> it's just awesome and then we have the holy graphics card the graphics card game with these Macs is very confusing if you if you're not familiar uh, if you are like me coming completely as a newbie of Mac Pros uh, you really do not know what the hell is going on but what I figured out so far is that any AMD card will actually display fine um, you will not have boot screens because PC card of course but other than that it should work since it's an AMD and if you have an Nvidia and I do actually tried two Nvidia's a GT730 and a GTX 750Ti and none of them worked even with the web drivers from Nvidia none of them worked. so I thought you know screw that I have an AMD also in my other main system and it's it's awesome I love it but I'm of course not going to be using an R9 280 uh, it would just be too expensive I mean that would cost more than the entire computer twice <laughs> uh, what I paid for but yeah no uh, so I called up a friend of mine a good friend who had this uh, old graphics card laying around it's an HD 5850 I think because it says your radio HD 5000 that's not true it's actually a 5850 I think or a 5750 huh. let's look it up here no it doesn't tell you either but um, he said you can try it out if it doesn't work we can give it back and I did and I thought awesome it boots up just fine it has the power it has one gigabyte of RAM that's totally fine for my needs I'm gonna get that it works with the Mac Pro it's silent and again it works that's uh, coming from all the Nvidia trial and error I had 
I was pretty happy that I finally had one that actually fucking works. So, that is that. Now, how did I actually get El Capitan on this thing? <laughs> that is a story itself. Again, I said, there are not very good guides out there. So I thought, you know what, fuck that. I found out that you only need the EFI file, the boot.efi file, in order to get it completely working. So this SSD actually came in the Mac Pro when I got it. A nice 120 gig Samsung SSD. Here is a Lion install in it. Running in the system here is an Intenso SSD, 120 gig also. So I went ahead, I installed El Capitan Virtual on a on my MacBook Pro. I made a disk image. I mean, I never thought it's gonna work, but in theory it did. And in you know, really, it actually works just like a charm. So I recommend doing it. I created an entire Macintosh HD uh, disk image. The downside with this, of course, is that it ha it's about 10 gigs, but you know, it's not a huge deal today, I guess. I went to the Lion install, I restored, I put this drive, uh, the, the Intenso, in the Mac Pro, I restored it from here, the Lion install, to the um, Intenso, and then before I booted it up, I replaced the boot.efi files. Um, one is in core services, and the other one you need to access hidden files and stuff, and uh, I found it on a website how to do that. Not too hard actually, very easy, very simple. And I couldn't believe but it actually booted up um, without a hiccup. I mean of course it had this graphics card in it, the old 7300 GT, so it was laggy and it had gra graphic errors but it booted up and I was so freaking happy. So then I needed to run an update and of course the update being a fucking update, replace these boot EFI files with the original ones and then it would not boot. But I thought, hey, no huge deal. I have to lie in SSD. I will do the same just again, replacing the EFI files. And guess what? It worked. So I'm very happy. It does work beautifully. It's actually pretty stable too. It had no uh, any kind of... Uh, kernel panics or weird freezes or anything that would make this system incompatible with OS X El Capitan because if this is my main computer I need this to be working I need this to be reliable and you know not freeze on me or give kernel panics all the time because that's Hackintosh life and when I'm using a Mac I want my reliability now even I hacked on there it runs pretty much like it should and I really again I do not understand why Apple dropped the support for this the system being so old a 26 processor and stuff it just performs beastly today I uh, actually cut a different video on it with a voiceover um, and stuff just for testing purposes because I you know I wasn't sure I mean I thought I mean, yeah, sure, it's a Mac Pro and it's a quad core, but it's still a dual. Uh, uh, what am I saying? It's still a 26 uh, double dual core, if that makes any sense. Sion, so it's not an 8 core, 12 core, but it performed just beautifully. It's uh, plenty for what I need around here. Uh, my main PC is, of course, faster, but uh, for what I need here, it just performs beautifully. So I will launch some programs here and uh, then you say if this is fast or not. <laughs> and then there you go. This SSD really is the best thing you can do with old computers. Upgrade an SSD in it. It's just gonna be worth it. So as you can see it had no problems up, uh, opening up these applications and it was even my uh, heavy one here, Final Cut. I'm very looking forward to using that again. Uh, since, yeah, this computer will be also my video editing computer. And it totally handles a uh, 1080p 60 frames file without any problems. Uh, rendering time is more than what I ever expected from this. Way better than I expected, I might say. 
And yeah, it still needs to be set up. I still need to install my programs. I still need to transfer some data. And then I'm gonna be finally doing with uh, this, what, what I already planned a long time with this. This is an Intenso, S, uh, Intenso external drive. And because the Mac, the iMac here was once my main Mac, you can see me in the reflection there, is of course, cannot have internal drives other than uh, the one it has so I always needed to go external and I marked that down pretty good with my main PC already but the Mac stuff of course me having only the iMac and the MacBook Pro still remained all external but that is history yeah not like the trash can Mac Pro where you have to have everything externally you can upgrade here without problems uh, up to four drives I will only be needing for now one bay um, the other S uh, external I don't keep saying SSD uh, the other external drive will stay for now still to sort out um, and then it's gonna also go into Mac Pro and yeah this is pretty much it um, now before I close out this video I just want to see you I want to want you to see god damn it <laughs> want you to see the inside of this awesome engineered computer and of course we will open it while it's running because this is still Macintosh Mini 12 so let's open it up very simple process lift that door and here it is yeah you cannot tell that you cannot say that this is not looking beastly. I mean, seriously, this is just engineering. Here we have the uh, Radeon 5850. Yeah, I got it right from my friend. And it works nice and quiet. I had to get these stupid power cables though. Uh, these special ones here that plug in the board. Uh, weren't too expensive though. So, you know, I need to make these sacrifices. Here we have the RAM looking awesome and uh, optical drive two times here only one of course in there but you can have it two times if you would ever need so much optical drives so much too oh my god <laughs> and on the here we have the SSD and three empty hard drive bays and also we can have three more uh, PCI devices might not use the slot two since it would block the fan but in theory you could have it and I mean that's that's really foreign computer in this age I keep saying it it's just engineered so well it works perfectly and that's what I need uh, I if you've been subscribed to me for a long time you know that this has been always my dream computer I know that the newer Mac Pros have a different way the RAM comes out they have like a not these trays which slide out they have a different way but in, in in like the whole concept is the same when you have these four bays you have the two optical drives and you have the PCI slots so yeah even though this is such an old Mac Pro a 1,1 it performs awesome with this SSD and it's going to be my secondary main computer so if that makes any sense <laughs> my second main machine I might say so yeah always wanted a Mac Pro uh, got that actually by accident but yeah so is such is so is life I don't know how it's correctly said but I don't care either finally have a Mac Pro and uh, I mean this one oh shit forgot that's not a Mac Pro ha 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 well <laughs> See you guys and uh, there will be some updates from this in the future. Maybe also some upgrades, but for now I will only need this in the near, near, near future. So this was still here to stay for a little time. But yeah, see you in the next video and have a good day.